background we've got Drew's 94 Dodge. We've been doing a little bit of stuff on this and if you can't tell, back there there's a little bit of blue smoke coming out. Uh, we're going to see how that changes when we retime it. We for sure know this thing has a timing issue because it just does not run good when it's cold. It does not run good when it's hot. It has no power. So we're going to get this thing retimed sometime this upcoming week or maybe even today. We'll find out. Um, but one of the things you can tell right away of a slipped time 12 valve is listen to how quiet this thing is. is hardly rattling at all like a 12 pound ship so a lot of times when the timing slips it goes um, to like five to eight degrees before top dead center and that quiets down the motor a lot since the combustion event is happening a lot shorter time frame unlike blue truck over here that has 32 degrees timing and the combustion event is happening for a lot longer span of time. You can hear it rattle through the cylinder walls. timing All right, as, you, as you can see our shop is pretty dirty we're gonna go ahead and get this swept out before we pull Drew's truck back in and do the timing on it so engage time-lapse now Small update on the 12 rail. Do not buy Cheap O'Reilly's parts. So the whole video series of us getting stranded in Idaho was because our brand new O'Reilly's crank sensor went bad. I finally went through the whole harness, took it out, cleaned up the wires, cleaned up the grounds, fixed some broken wires, and put it back together. Nothing worked. I was like, what the heck? So I had the sensor off at the time, and I was like, well, let's see what we can do to ohm this thing out. And before I even ohmed it out, I kind of moved it around and I shook it and it rattled inside. I was like, what the heck? So I went and got a new sensor from Napa here locally. That's all we have. Sorry, no Cummins parts, but it fixed it. We have the tachometer, we have charging, we have the fuel pump, we have air conditioning. So that whole fiasco is because of cheap O'Reilly's parts. Do not buy them. They all work. Hallelujah. Since some doofus thought he was good at wiring, he just put a regular toggle switch in this crazy thing. Obviously, that's not going to work. So. We went and robbed these out of the truck sitting on the hill. We so lovingly call the POS. All right, we got Drew's truck here. We are going to do the timing. Get this good old P7100 timed up right. Like I was just saying, the, the way I time these things is measure the diameter of the balancer. You times that by pi, 
and you get how many inches uh, in thousandths equals one degree of engine advance or rotation. So what you do is you get your pump gear or your pump pinned to the stock timing and I think this one's going to be 12 or 11 and a half depending. Then you get it pinned, you pop the pump gear off and then you roll the motor back with a little pointer pointing to the crank and you measure how far you roll it back on the damper and it's been pretty good for me I know Power Driven sells those sweet little stick on magnets I do not have one yet but it's pretty straightforward and simple It's in the shop. This thing actually does not look too bad for how much this kid got it for. Dodge bumper installation by Drew Westcott and Darren Westcott. Let's we'll see how long this takes. to put a clutch in his 97 now. How happy are you to be putting a clutch in your truck after selling this thing? Uh, it's a lot better truck, so pretty happy. What clutch are you going to put in your 97? Uh, either a South Bend 600 horsepower. The light Thir sucks over there. Thir South Bend 600 horsepower. 13 mil. No, 13 inch. 13 inch. Yeah. Okay, so... Since I talked about it in a clip just before this, it was just puffing blue smoke like crazy. This is a fairly cold motor, but we barely got any haze out the tailpipe with this thing re -time. Maybe see just a little bit.
really weird sound. Yeah. It sounds like it's gonna die. That's a super weird sound. What the heck? What is it? I don't know. It's gotta be on the frame. It goes away somehow. Like it literally, it literally sounds like it goes away when you stomp the throttle. But the, the engine's just torquing over. What do you think it is? I don't know. Stomp it just a little. <laughs> it's gotta be a four wheel, how do I get it out? It says the, the four wheel drive light works. Well, you just, you just pop it out and keep driving until it turns off. You guys listen to that. What the heck? out of my Cummins. Out of yours? <laughs> <laughs> So's the steering cover. I hate it. It's ugly. Well, that's it for Drew's 94 flip job. Like and subscribe if you like this content. We've got his 97 coming up with a clutch job. That'll be pretty sweet. Stay tuned for that.